Hello, in this video we will discuss how to create a mesh then how to control it using sub objects in Gizmo. There is a tab especially for meshes in AutoCAD 2013 and as a first step we have seven shapes of uh, primitive shapes but before we start drawing using the uh, uh, shapes we have to set up the what we call tessellation divisions uh, dependable on the shape that you will use you will go and select it then you will specify the number of divisions whether around the axis or around or the, the axis or around the height we will specify the uh, axis to be around eight and on the height around six and we will say okay now, when we start drafting, okay, we will specify the radius of the uh, sphere that we are doing, or a mesh sphere, and we will specify a mesh sphere of 50. Now, uh, by default, you are seeing a visual style of realistic. We can change it to conceptual. Once we do this, we can see the divisions of of this uh, a sphere but to see it clear we will use a system variable called vs edges click here vs edges and vs edges if we set the value to 1 we will see the divisions clearer now after we create the shape we will try to control it using what in the uh, what we call sub objects in gizmo that's all exist and selection panel in the sub objects we can control what type what part of the object or the mesh will be selected whether a vertex edge or face or we can say no filter to allow us to select the total shape we will select now face zoom in a little bit and then select the top faces. Now, once we do this, a gizmo will appear. The gizmo, has, we have three types of gizmos, which is move gizmo, rotate gizmo, and scale gizmo. By default, you will see the move gizmo. Now, we will first, after we select the faces, we will select moving in around or using which axis. We will select the Z axis. Once we do this, we can specify the distance by typing. We'll say 20, for instance. And we will do the same thing for the bottom faces. Select them. And three, the whole thing. Then we will move them. But if we want to see the face clearer, we'll do this. We'll move them upwards with another 20. Now we will move everything up and down. Okay, this is good. But as you can see, there is a vertex up here, so we have to change to a vertex. And we can select this vertex and move it a little bit downwards and select to move it 10 units. Now we have several uh, 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 faces. To control but first of all what we can do is we can select the edges up here and move them upwards a little bit in 20 units okay now what we can do also as well we can select this face and we can change to scale specify the uh, x y to be the controlling one so expand this face or to scale it up a little bit to 1.75 so we get up until now we can select another time an edge select the edge change the gizmo to move and move it a little bit Now, as, as we are doing our work, we can change the 
to no filter that means we can select it a quick properties will appear we have here the smoothness and by default it's none we can select now whenever I'm moving to the next level you can see that you are getting more smooth select level 4 as our smooth and we have a small chair we can see it and we can change now the visual style to something like realistic uh, hidden conceptual just like what we use to have or shaded shaded with edges okay or we can get it back again to conceptual make some modifications vs edges as we did before and set to one now what we can do is we can select some edges up here let's say select this edge this edge and this edge okay and then we can move them upwards let's see if we can move them upwards let's move them upwards by 20 and this is what we will get okay we can get these faces a little bit down so we'll select them okay and move them a little bit down see what will happen right now is that we will get this shape as you can see we can control the uh, uh, meshes by selecting parts of it and creating a very odd shapes that you cannot do elsewhere in AutoCAD 2013. Thank you for listening.